Hello, my name is Kirk Bresnicker, and I'm the chief architect at Hewlett Packard Labs. And today I find myself in a new, unique position. I'm looking out at the street corner uh, in Davos, Switzerland, at the World Economic Forum 2024 annual meeting. And all along the streets, what you see everywhere is AI. And not just AI, but responsible AI. And why it has taken over the streets of Davos here in Switzerland at the World Economic Forum meeting in 2024, it's not a new topic to us at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Back in 2019, in collaboration with our global human rights team, our global compliance team, I had the opportunity to work across our company and across the world in creating AI ethics responsible use principles that were really authentic to Hewlett Packard Enterprise. We have five principles here at Hewlett Packard Enterprise when we think of, of the responsible use of AI and for us, it always starts with our purpose. Our purpose at Hewlett Packard Enterprise is to advance the way that people live and work. If you come visit our, our Houston headquarters, you'll see it in big letters right on the wall. And from that purpose, we derived five critical principles. AI must be privacy preserving and secure. AI must be inclusive. AI must be human focused. AI must be responsible. And AI must be robust. And if we think of that last robust principle, we'll begin to talk about some of the research work that we do at Hewlett Packard Labs. At Labs, our AI research is focused in on helping our company, our partners, and our customers achieve our purpose with ethical confidence and knowing and being able to demonstrate and prove that we can achieve our responsible AI ethics design goals. And when we think about, think about AI, it is amazing. Jaw-dropping demonstrations. And what we're showing here is a demonstration of an image recognition library. And as we think about those, you've tested your library, you've tested your model in the lab, and you're getting fantastic confidence. But what's going to happen in the real world? How robust is this system? And so what we're doing is we're taking our original image and we're adding tiny distortions, individual pixels. This might be smudge on the lens. It might be a false signal injected by an adversary. And while the modified image to you and I, it's almost indistinguishable. We can still tell that this is a picture of a puma. But what we see here is that as the distortions are added, the original confidence, 99% confidence, that's a cougar, we add these distortions and suddenly the confidence begins quickly to erode. And so what we see with almost to the human, imperceptible distortions added, individual bits, suddenly it's a coin flip. Is it a wildcat? Is it a cougar? Is it an umbrella? Is it a, is it a dolphin? That's fragility. And what we're working on at Hewlett Packard Labs is researching how do we engineer in robustness. And what we have found is that we can use adversarial machine learning to inject false signal to measure the correctness and then to add robustness. So if we look at what we've done to, in order to modify this system, now we're adding distortions and yet the confidence remains high, still 96, 95, and pretty soon you can see there's actually holes in the picture now. So we're able to handle the real world conditions. And when we think of using AI responsibly, when we think of that fitness for use for really important applications, when I want to use AI inside the business processes, of a highly regulated publicly trading company like our own. When we think of human critical, safety critical, life critical systems that we want to be able to use AI for, that is where this robustness, the responsible, the human focus, the inclusive, the privacy preserving and secure, all of our principles really again are authentic to our Hewlett Packard Enterprise history and legacy of high quality engineering. And when I was a very young engineer at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, I learned that quality is fitness for use as defined by the end customer. And that's what's so important when we think about responsible use of AI. That definition of quality means that it has to be a dialogue. It demands conversation, understanding, and empathy so that we can successfully 
responsibly and ethically employ these incredible tools to our most challenging problems. So when we think about AI at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, we think of three things. We think that it needs to be open, it needs to be sustainable, and it needs to be responsible. Our principles put into daily practice across all of our team members, all of our customers and our partners, and the research we're doing at Hewlett Packard Labs are going to ensure that we can employ these fantastic tools with confidence. Thank you.